So May, as predicted, went by in a blur. Uh, the beginning of May, when I was filming that video for you, was busy. The um, end of May, when I might have been doing some reading, but I was on half term, was busy. Uh, so yeah, so welcome to my May wrap up. Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Katrina, and I make bookish content here on this channel every week, and then move reviews here at the weekend. Um, in the description box below, you will find links to all the books I'm going to talk about, as well as my blog and my Goodreads, so you can keep up with my reading in between times. So basically, I'm going to tell you the three whole books that I read in the month of May. Spoiler alert, they were all audiobooks. There's no surprise. But then what I'll do is I'll leave the bout of books footage that I did take during bout of books week with my like hopeful like oh I'm gonna read so many books this week it's sats week but I'm still gonna read um at the end for you so um it's a two-parter it's a it's a book it's a wrap-up and a reading vlog um so yes yeah, so I did read and have not written the review for yet must do that reminder to self the Holiday Escape by Heidi Swain, which was a leftover from my um, April TBR, which I wanted to read in the month of April because it came out in the month of April. Um, and this one is She's Escaping the Country, He's Escaping the City, What Happens When Their Worlds Collide. This one was quite a different one for Heidi, Sp Heidi Swain. If you're a fan of the Book Lovers Retreat last year, I think it was last year, I hope it wasn't two years ago, um, then you'll be a fan of this one because it's definitely a standalone. It doesn't take place in... Winbridge or Winmouth. It's just a standalone story. And it is exactly what it says on the tin. It starts off very kind of like almost like non Heidi Swain esque. Normally Heidi Swain's a little bit more cozy and like we're on a on a plane going off to like have a new identity and kind of like have an adventure out with ourselves for a little while. And I was like, mm, that's a bit different. Um but then it just sort of settled back into Heidi's usual style after that but this one is an adult rom-com it's out now and I love a bit of Heidi Swain anyway um if I remember I will leave my link to my interview with Heidi that I did on this channel during lockdown when we were just talking via recorded zoom across the ocean very cool um then another favorite author pairing of mine um and I did listen to this one well I listened to half of this one I think I listened to all of it Hmm. Maybe I listened to all of it because I listened to a book and a half during Bow Books Week. Um, this one is The Paradise Problem by Christine Lauren. Um, and this one was just I just loved it. I really, really loved it. Um, this one, she uh forgets that she married her roommate. Um, her life is falling to pieces. Her roommate turns back up and he's like, mm, by the way, you know, we got married. I need to go to a family wedding and I need you to come with me as my wife. Um, I'm gonna pay you loads of money. And you know, if that isn't the basis for like one of the best books of the year, I don't know what is. This was so fun, so enjoyable. I listened to a lot of it on my way to and from work during Sats Week, and it was a complete escape for me, which was brilliant. Obviously, with it being Christina Lauren, it's a little bit on the spicy side, but I would say definitely one of their tamer novels anyway so if you don't like you know a lot of um open door sex scenes uh then you will be okay with this one um because there's just a lot of like tension a lot of like will they won't they what's going on here kind of thing um and i really really enjoyed it and i don't think i've met a christina lauren yet that i didn't like um i have a video where i read basically all of their novels and um discuss them with my lovely friend Hayley um so I will try and remember to leave that linked up above as well now I'm like thinking did I listen to a different book during about book speaks I feel like I read one whole book and one half book and I definitely didn't read Heidi Swain during about book speak did I have like a secret extra book that I read? I'm going to have to fact check this one. Um, and then the nonfiction that I read during the month of May is The Blues Brothers, An Epic Friendship, The Rise of Improv and the Making of an American Film Classic, which just makes me want to watch Blues Brothers. I can't seem to find it streaming anywhere. So if you know of anywhere that's streaming, then please do let me know. Um, this one is kind of just exactly what it says on the tin, really. I think it's a little bit on the long side, um, but that's just my opinion you know i remembered the other book that i read 
It's like a secret other book that I completely forgot I read. Anyway, here's my non-fiction. Let me grab that book for you because I definitely read it. Um, I did start listening to My Favourite Mistake by Harry Marion Keys, uh, but I haven't read enough of it to say that I read that in the month of May. I'm, I don't think I'm even 10% of the way in, but I am loving it. So, spoiler alert for the June TBR if you haven't already seen it. Um, right, let me find this book. Pause yourselves. So, during about a book three week, I listened to one whole audiobook, and that was Maybe Next Time by Cheska Major, which is a bit of a kind of um, ground dog, Groundhog Day-esque um, time slip novel um that is just fabulous a little bit stressful and also a little bit heartbreaking but you'll see my reaction to reading it if you stay on for the out books footage so here's one cover this is the cover of the audiobook that i listened to that i got from my library um this is a reese's book club pick so i'm assuming that this is the us hardcover cover um then this is also a reese's book club pick sticker on it this is another cover and the greatest love story every second counts. We like this cover. This one doesn't have a Reese's Book Club sticker on. So I'm assuming this is a UK paperback cover. Quite like that one. Gives nothing away. And then we also have another Reese's Book Club pick cover. So um, let me know in comments which you like. Number four. Number three. Number two. Number one. The one that I actually read. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed that one. So I actually read four books this month. Look at me forgetting that I read a book. That's how crazy May was. If you are a year six teacher, you will understand. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave you with that bad books footage. If you're leaving us here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future bookish content. And if you are staying, please enjoy this bout of books like just me looking tired, talking about not reading footage. There we go. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Welcome to oh, book nerds on this side. Welcome to another bout of books vlog. Now it's also Sats week, um, and I was like back and forth, back and forth. What do I do about books? But I thought, well, if I just vlog what I am and am not reading, um, and you get to kind of come along with me on Sats week because you know there will be tears. There will be coffee. Um, I need to go and make an iced coffee for work just now. But I've come... My TBR for this week is basically just my May TBR. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave it linked up above. But um, yeah, I've already come off TBR. So let's jump right in. Welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel every week. And the movie reviews here at the weekend. We are on that pattern just now. Um... I recently posted a different reading vlog, so if reading vlogs are your thing, I will leave a playlist of my vlogs as well for you. Um, but yes, TBR this week is basically just get on with my May TBR. The new Christina Lauren is released on... So I think it's tomorrow, because tomorrow is the US release date. Now, sometimes it comes out the same day in the UK. Sometimes we have to wait till the Thursday. But because I've still got access to my audiobooks in my US library... Mm -hmm. hopefully <clears throat> I'll be able to get that tomorrow so that's exciting so I thought well I don't want to kind of like start a chunky book or audio book so um I've been listening to maybe next time by Cheska Major um because everyone was buzzing about this book when it came out it was like a Reese's book club pick I think it's being made into film and I'd had a hold on it with my library with Libby um, so I was like, <clears throat> right, we'll pick that one up. It's, um, like a cross between, uh, like one day and I don't know how she does it. Um, kind of, yeah, it's stressing me out so far, <laughs> but we will see. So when she talks about all the notifications on her phone and I'm like, yeah, it's quite stressful. And when you wear one of these as well, and it's like buzz, 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 buzz. Um, it's interesting, but yeah, it's really on the fence about whether to do this. Thought I would just vlog what I'm reading, what I'm doing this week. It's Sats week. I've got the theatre this weekend. Like, I'm away this weekend. So, I don't think, like, a whole lot of reading is going to get done. I would really like to read a physical book. Um, but I don't... Well, I've got one on my TBR, which is Turtles All The Way Down. There it is. Um, 
and but the, the movie of that one doesn't come out till the end of May and you we are halfway through May aren't we it's 15th on Wednesday mm. I could pick that one up but then I do have other books on my shelf that I would also like to pick up but aren't on my TBR so I thought why not start with something else that's not on my TBR but anyway as I say need to make my work coffee need to brush my teeth and let's get on with this week I am drained from today I basically listened to quite a lot of Maybe Next Time um, this morning and then on my commute to work. And then that's all the reading that I've done. However, I um, am not... Um, what time are we on? 20 past 8. So I could potentially just stick with the same book and listen to some more before bed rather than scrolling TikTok. <laughs> um, I do want to see if there's anybody talking about the Sats papers on TikTok. I know that, you know, it's embargoed to talk about them until after the 24th of May. Very, very aware of that. But um, sometimes, you know, people talk about them in code, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking, thinking I might go upstairs and do that. Um, I didn't get that. Could Apparently, series on board with that. Uh, I need to go upstairs to bed. Either way, I mean, like we can see, like it's it's really weird. It's very Sorry. like oh, shush. Sure it's very mentally tiring because you're kind of like taking on the mental well being of eighteen children who are like sitting these papers in these conditions, and then just like making sure that you, as the person, oh, honestly, sometimes just wanted to look at the time yeah you as the person are like doing the right job and the right job for them and balancing out that like official test paper business with they're like you're all amazing and we love you um yeah it's it's mentally draining and then I did assembly and then we had staff meeting and so it's been a lot today um but getting all the stuff for that's breakfast in this morning was like a big job a big job so and everyone came and like chatted with us at sat's breakfast which was really nice it was really social i loved it so i am now at 56 percent of my audiobook which i think is pretty good going that's like nearly well it's at least another 20 percent on top of where i was no nearly 30 percent on top of where i was last night so i did listen to some last night i did you think i just went away and scrolled tiktok and fell asleep I mean, I did that afterwards, but um, yeah, I did listen to some last night while I was getting ready and things. Um, so yeah, I'm at 56%. I could see me finishing this tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. Woo! Happy Starbucks Friday. Cheers. Mm. Yesterday was the last day of Sats. So that's exciting. I just realised I'm quite croaky. Um, I did finish the Jessica Major book that I was reading yesterday morning. Um, it was very good, highly recommend. Really twisty, really good ending. And then I started immediately, be proud of me with this bout of books reading, even though I'm so just a shell of a human being right now. I started reading The Paradise Problem by Christina Lauren. And, oh, I always forget, May rolls around and I just forget how good and funny their books are like this just so good um so i'm like oh this, they they would always also make the best film um so yeah so we've just about survived that week if i can make it through friday i've got my uh extra shot in my ice shaking espresso so we should be good um but i will fill you in uh theater tonight theater tomorrow really exciting um, I'm really annoying the person in front of me right now because he was hoping to drive through the space that I'd pulled into so that he could leave Tesco. So he's having to drive around. Although I'm not sure why he didn't just drive through the space next to me. Like that would have made more sense. Um, but he was literally waiting for me to stop. Um, but yeah, got some flowers in Tesco. And now it's time to go to work and uh, see my lovely children again. <sighs> Lots to do.
So it's Sunday night, went to the cinema this morning, then had lunch, had a nap, and now I'm just back from the gym. I don't know how it's got to half past eight, but I am halfway through the paradise problem. Um, I'm still just pleased that this week I managed to read a little bit. Like, I know there's not been like morning reading vlogs and what have you, um, but it's been nice kind of like having bout of books to push me to just read something. Cause I think with it being such a stressful week and me being so tired, like I've struggled to focus on anything this weekend. Um, oh, that's the flyway gym here. Um, I think it's then just given me that little bit of like motivation to actually do something other than just doom scroll and sleep and comfort eat and drink lots of caffeine. Um, so yeah, so I'll update you before I go to bed, but I can't see me reading a whole lot more because um, I need to go shower and have dinner because it's half a day at night. 